Hello and welcome to email skills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will see how to change a MySQL data directory to a new location on Linux. So I have an Oracle Enterprise uh, Linux setup in which uh, MySQL 8.0 is installed and due to a requirement, I have to change the data directory location from the default location to a new location. First of all, let me let me show what I have is I have the uh, Linux 2, which is the host name of MySQL server. I'm logged in as root in mobile Xtrom and I have opened a couple of session in one of the session. I'm logged in as uh, MySQL. So what I'm going to do is let, let me perform the first step. I'm going to log into the MySQL uh, server and uh, just uh, check what is the data directory. So all the data which goes into the MySQL server, it is stored in a location which is known as data DIR. So you have two options of checking that either you log in through MySQL prompt and just fire this command, uh, uh, select at the rate, at the rate uh, uh, data DIR. So this will show you the current location. So as of now, my all my data files are residing on slash bar live uh, slash MySQL. This is the default location, but the you cannot continue to store or continue to occupy the space in this particular location. So you need to have a dedicated storage or the file system where you need to put all your uh, data files. So in this tutorial, what we are going to do is we are going to move all the data files from this particular location to a new location. So the new location name is uh, slash MySQL slash data. So what is the uh, step that will be carried out? First, we have checked the current location of the data directory, which is the default location. And in the second step, we are going to stop the MySQL service. In the third step, what we are going to do is we are going to copy all the data files, all the files which are residing under uh, uh, data DIR actual location to the new file which is slash MySQL slash data. So this is my new storage where I'm going to copy all this. I'm not going to uh, actually move it later on once uh, uh, the system is started perfectly, we will delete those. In the fourth step, what we will do is we will uh, added the information in my.conf, which is the configuration file, so that uh, the old uh, location is replaced by the new location. In the fifth step, we will start the MySQL service and we'll, we'll check if the, uh, if the uh, location has been reflected. So we have carried out the first step wherein we checked uh, what is the current location. And the second step, what we are going to do is we are going to stop the MySQL service. So I'm logged in as root, so I'm going to stop MySQL service. Once it is stopped, what I'm going to do is we will copy the data from the older, so this is my older location. So everything has to be done using the MySQL because my new storage is, if you see the um, files, all the files residing under this, if you say ls hyphen LRT, you will see all the files are owned by MySQL is the username and this is the group name. So we will be using the MySQL ID and we will be copying all the data files from this location to uh, MySQL slash data. So in previous uh, tutorial, what I had done is I had uh, uh, copied the data. So let me see if the data has been deleted or not. Okay, still it is there, so let me delete it. LS hyphen LRT. Yep. So let me copy the files. So let me go to the original location. This is my current location where the data files or the uh, files are located related to the data. And now I'm going to copy all this from current location to the new location. So the new location is slash MySQL slash data. So I have given a dedicated storage and I'll be monitoring this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a backup of my.conf and then I'll, I'll go and so this activity has to be done as root user. So let me clear the screen. 
and I'm going to take a backup of uh, cpetcmy.conf to uh, etcmy.conf and it is today's date. Uh, it is already existing, so let me replace it. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it my.conf. We'll go to data dir and let me comment this and add a new entry of slash data dir equal to slash data dir equal to and the new location is slash mysql slash data so yes so what i have done so far is i have stopped the services uh, we have copied all the files from old location to new location then we have uh, uh, edited my.conf we have provided the new location and the last step is we'll go and start the mysql service once the MySQL service is a start, we'll go and check if uh, it is reflecting in, uh, in um, the console or in my.cnf. MySQL has started successfully, so it seems it might have taken the new value. So let me, okay, let me log in again to MySQL console. So MySQL hyphen u root hyphen P. So I'm feeding in the password and we will simply say select at the rate at the rate data dir. You can see the new value is reflected. So uh, now onwards all the data will be stored under this location and this is a dedicated storage for uh, MySQL data files. If I say df-h so this is the file system which I have allocated to uh, to MySQL uh, uh, data files. So this is how do we move or copy the files from uh, a default location to a new location or from a new location to a desired location where you want to keep the data files. So it is always good to have a dedicated storage for data files in order to avoid any kind of issues which may be due to the contention of other files which are residing on that particular system. Uh, so let me uh, go through the steps once again. So in the first step, we check the current location of MySQL data directory. Either you can uh, view it through my.conf or you can, uh, from MySQL command prompt, you can say select at the rate at the rate data dir. In the second step, what we are going to do is, or what we had done is we have shut down the services. In the third step, we have copied the data files from the older location to the new location. In the fifth step, what we have done is we, on a precaution, measure we have taken the backup of my.conf and then we have replaced the data dir value with the new value and then we started the mysql services and the same has been reflected in in uh, 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 select at the rate at the rate uh, data dir i hope this is going to be helpful and thanks for watching